battery limits. What is a battery limit? It's nothing more than a boundary. So as you can see here, there are several boundaries. What do I do? We need boundaries because we need to set up at least one area of responsibility from other. So if you got, I don't know, the reactor, your steer tank reactor, and then it goes, has a valve here, it goes to a tank. So you got two areas of interest, the reactor and the tank. So let's say that you want to add the battery limits. They can be either physical, meaning that of course, once the material goes outside the reactor, it's not our concern, or maybe once it goes inside the reactor is of our concern for if you were the storage engineer, or maybe there's the main doubt will be what's who, if this is the concern of the tank engineer and this is the concern of the storage engineer, whose concern is this, the valve and pipe here? Well, you will either need to delegate that Maybe you will say something physical. Okay, from this valve to the left is the tank engineer. And from this valve to the right is the storage engineer. Or maybe you add another battery limit, which is not typical for a single pipe, but it's just for the sake of an example. Or maybe you want to represent this by a map coordinate. So conveniently, you will say, okay, from this coordinate, let's say you got the pipe right here, because of course, you're not going to have only one pipe, you're going to have several. So you got this valve right here, this valve right here, this valve right here. So you got plant one and you got plant two. And you say from this part or this coordinate to the left will be all from this unit operation. Let's say this is the reactor. And from this part right here, let's say this is the distillation unit, all will be responsible or the battery limits of the distillation unit. So you can see there are several concerns and you just define it by a coordinate or whatever other mean you think it's convenient. It doesn't need to be something physical or coordinate. Maybe you just do it for convenience. So for instance, if you were talking about this, maybe it will be much easier if you change all the valves to single person or to a single battery unit, because maybe if you're already talking about valves and piping and the distillation unit, maybe this engineer will be saying that it's much more convenient for him to be able to change these valves and the flow rates. So he will want to take it, the responsibility or take this inside his battery limits. So even though this is not physical or coordinate, he is accept, uh, accepting a new responsibility for the sake of the unit operation right here. So then we got two main values, ESPL or OSPL, meaning inside battery limits and outside battery limits. Let's talk about this little plant right here, processing plant. So as you can see here, you got your battery limits. So let's say this is a reactor, this is a small agitation tank, and this is a storage tank. Then you got here, these are offices, and let's say this is the pumping uh, area. Okay, so then you select this as your inside battery limits. Whatever happens here is responsibility of this plant part. So this is called inside battery limits. So technically all these parts right here are the outside battery limits because you don't care. I mean, of course you care, but Technically speaking, this is not your responsibility. So if you are cooling this tank reactor, you will need cooling water. But you, your cooling water is not your responsibility. You are just receiving a service for this. Or <clears throat> if you're talking about the agitation tank, you will need some uh, electricity to move the agitation unit. So you will assume that you have electricity. You are not in charge of that electricity, okay? And if you were talking about the storage, maybe you need to heat the storage at certain temperature and you will be using steam. You are assuming that steam is available. So it's not your responsibility to be treating the water, the steam, pressurizing the steams or the electricity flow. Okay, that is the point of having a inside battery limits. So whenever, let's say something fails in electricity, that will not be responsibility of this engineer. But if the reactor fails, that will be responsibility of the engineer. Okay, so that's the point of having inside and outside battery limits. 
Okay, so let's check out more technically what is ESPL. It's also about pricing and cost. So what will be the plant cost or the installment of unit operation and so on. So ESBL, we are talking about plant uh, investment will include purchasing and shipping cost of equipment, land cost, infrastructure, piping, catalyst, and any other materials needed for final plant operation. Of course, the raw materials will be also can be assumed as inside battery limits. ESBL costs also include any associated fees with construction, such as permit, insurance, equipment, rental, and anything required for plant operation. Okay. And outside battery limits, what is this? These are the so-called off-site costs. Are costs that they will be related to your plant operation, but technically are not of the plant. So they are still an important component, but deals with calculating costs associated with off-site developments that require the plant to run for. For example, water or electricity are used. They will, you will need an infrastructure needed to accommodate the chemical plants necessities. These are considered to the OSPL. So for instance, if you need a tank storage unit, even though it's not present here, you will need to account it, especially if you are uh, talking about ESBL and OSBL. And technically they are associated. You could say those are indirect costs, but you know that even though they are indirect, they affect our operation. Okay. And let's check out let's check out this one in another video